What's up guys? How's everyone doing today? Thanks for stopping back by. I want to do a quick one on uh, what air tools us as techs and you know people that have air compressors should still buy. You know which kind of air tools do I still use here in the shop or at home or anywhere for that matter as opposed to just buying co into cordless and having cordless tools. You know I do find myself still using air tools obviously the must-have air tools that you need to you know fill up air tires there's nothing faster than using a normal you know air pressure gauge um as opposed to the battery powered one um and then i got a few other ones so check it out after this So you can see behind me, I got pretty much going through the air tool drawer and I got just kind of a spread of, you know, some I still use, some I don't. Obviously the, uh, you know, the half inch, some of these are retired ones that I use, uh, you know, still, still good, they're still good. Maybe I can rebuild, they're still good tools so I just hold on to them. Um, just, I guess it's just a sickness I have. I, I don't want to uh, sell it, I don't want to throw it out. It's still a good tool and maybe one day it'll be a collectible. I can retire with all my antique tools. But looking at these things, I got obviously the must-haves, uh, like I was saying with the air chuck, air pressure gauge to fill up tires. Um, you know, nothing's faster than using one of these uh, or that they got the digital ones. I prefer the, the analog ones. Um, but yeah, I mean, there really hasn't been a, a cordless tool to replace this for me yet. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I don't have 20 minutes to fill up a tire. You know, this one, you know, it tires a few pounds low. You just kind of bump the trigger and, it, and it's filled. You know, with those battery powered ones, you got to sit and wait and, you know, and you hear it making noise for 20 minutes and all that stuff. You know, I don't have that kind of time as a tech here. And then we got, you know, one next to it. Obviously, this one's still looking new. I bought this. About two years ago, you know, I probably only used it like a half a dozen times. You know, it's great. I ain't got to worry about going through batteries and eating up batteries. But, you know, this is, this is definitely a retired air tool. You know, the drills, air drills, it's, you know, it's, it's definitely a dying tool in my eyes. But then you got ones like my little 3 8 mini ratchet. I'll still use this every now and again. It's, uh, you know, it's a great tool. It has power behind it. It fits in those tight areas. So I'll still grab for this one. So, you know, air ratchets, I think that the air power tools will still be around for a while um, as opposed to the battery powered ones. You know, I, I, use, I use the Milwaukee and the Snap-on battery powered ratchet a lot too, way more than this. But for those tight areas, I mean, size comparison, you can see there's a big difference there. So, you know, you're in a tight area, which one are you going to reach for? So, the smaller ones at least, you know, but obviously the bigger ones that are around the same size, you know, I'll choose the battery powered one or even the snap-on battery powered one as opposed to this one. You know, if I need something in size ain't an issue, I'm going to grab the battery powered one beforehand before I grab the air tool, especially the bigger ones. So, and then moving along, the angle grinder, um, everybody needs a good one. I, uh, I use this one a lot less now. This is the mini version. I also have the, the one horsepower one for those big jobs. Um, I mean, this one is, this one, it's great, this one's a great tool. I mean, they even give you a little extra handle because of the kickback this one has. Um, this thing will grind through a, an inch thick of, uh, you know, you got a strong enough grinder wheel on there, this thing will grind through anything. But uh, I still I still use these, I'll still, I'll still break these out, you know, mostly when I'm grinding down metal, not necessarily cleaning hubs and all that stuff, or gasket off, I'll use the battery power buffer one that I use. But 
I'm still reaching for this. Not as much, um, but not like the drill where I'm not touching this one. You know, I actually had to wipe off some of the dust on that one. So pretty much retired. The air drill is pretty much retired. This one's semi-retired. This one only for the big jobs, heavier stuff I'm doing. But then you get on to like the long, uh, the long grinder ones. You know, they don't really make a battery powered tool for tools like this. So these air tools will still be around. Um, you know, yes, they have longer ones and things like that, but you know, nothing, nothing worth anything yet. As far as, you know, Milwaukee goes, I haven't seen anything out there, but maybe, you know, only time will tell. Might be in the works. So this one, this one I only use when you need it. It's not, it's not like you're reaching for this to uh, clean a hub out and all that stuff. Other than uh, this one I got set up to clean around the studs and that's kind of like a longer uh, piece there I'll use that to clean around the uh, the studs these are great little sanding disc on here sanding tools and then I just got that on a cheap craftsman this one actually only has this this fitting on there and I noticed on some of these guys um, you know some of my older air tools I just you know I put something on there and that's the way I use it I don't uh, change anything out like this one the wire wheel for cleaning rims and all that stuff you know the battery power ones don't have the speed you know this one I mean it it's the RPMs are super high no battery power or tool is gonna match that let me actually plug it in for you guys I'll show you how fast this one uh, this uh, central pneumatic one is alright guys I got it plugged in and you can see the speed on this one I mean you could hear it you're not going to get that kind of RPMs with a battery power tool. And if you are, you're not going to get it for very long. So if you're cleaning a big job, you know, a battery power tool just ain't going to cut it. So that's why I, I keep this wire. I only use this with the wire wheels. I keep this one strictly for wire wheels. That's what this tool is for. I don't switch out the heads or switch out the tools. And then I got this uh, little Husky set up for the longer one. I put a long little extension on there. And to get into those gaskets and all that stuff, I leave this long one on here. This one is just for this. So, you know, air tools are good to keep around. You know, retiring them too early, I could still use them. I could still find good uses for, uses for them and all that stuff. Like this old Mac, um, I actually ended up buying this thing. And I never really liked it, so I only use it for carbine bits. You know, to wallow out holes and, you know, anything using for carbine and all that stuff. This one's probably the main one I have on here, but I will switch it out to some of the other carbine bits, and that's all I use it for. So, pretty much these are dedicated to do exactly what they're, what's on there. This one cleans around the studs. This one, a little uh, stripe, pinstripe eraser on here. I use that. The Astro Pneumatic. It's another great tool. But then you get into ones like the body saw. And, you know, really, I haven't found a battery power tool to replace this yet either. I mean, yeah, they have the little saws and all that stuff, but going off a of size, I mean, you're not going to find a, a little compact with the tiny bit to replace it yet, just yet. So, air tool, I still use it. You know, it's still an air tool that I use, as opposed to battery power tools. But then you got the air hammer, and, you know, this one is very far from getting replaced. You'll just... I don't think they'll ever be able to make something cordless with, with as much power as, as at least this air hammer has. So this one is pro will probably never get replaced. Um, I just can't see it. You know, with the plastic design they make on these battery power tools, you know, I don't think it'll withstand any kind of hammer action that this, this thing does. So this is a never retire. I'll, this, you know, these air hammers will probably be around for a long time, especially the heavy duty snap on one. And then you got your grinders, which is about a 50-50. You know, I'll use the battery power grinder um, or this one. I guess it all depends on how long I have to grind. You know, if I'm going through a disc, if I'm grinding as much where I'm burning out a disc or something like that, you know, I'll break out the air tools and use air. Um, no sense in putting a strain on those lithium batteries like, you know, using hydrain like that. You'll go through batteries like crazy, but, you know, I'll still reach for the uh, grinder. So... But yeah, guys, that's it. I mean, you know, going into 2019, you know, kind of still cleaning out my drawers and all that stuff, um, trying to figure out, you know, which, which air tools do I still need? You know, which air tools do I use? You know, trying to make room for it. You know, obviously, if there's air tools in my box that I no longer use, you know, I might want to just retire it. But it's, it's hard because I still find myself using air, 
you know, probably a lot more than I should or probably a lot more than the next guy because I mean I do have battery power tools too, but you know, I'm more conservative. I don't, I don't want to go through batteries like crazy. I don't want to keep buying them. I don't want to use them outside of what they're intended for. So I'll reach for the air tools, you know. And then you got, and then you got your uh, obviously blow guns. You're not going to get that out of anything battery powered with that much pressure. This one especially. I mean, this this one will blow the skin off you, off your body. Um, how much pressure this is. So, I mean, compressors are going to be around, long, around for a long, long time, guys. So you guys let me know, you know, what air tools will you never retire? And, you know, what are those ones that, you know, you, you're not going to give up no matter what, what have you. You'll trip over an airline hose as many times as it takes. You know, you're not going to give up your air tools or using your air tools. Or let me know down in the comments what air tools you guys can't stand and you, you couldn't wait to retire. You couldn't wait to pick up a battery power tools or something to replace it. You know, what air tools do you guys still use? What air tools will you never retire? And then, you know, what battery power tools are you, you guys looking at? Are you looking to get or something like that? It's, you know, it's a question out there that everybody's saying, you know, no one uses air anymore. You know, I use it a lot less, but I don't think I'll ever retire my compressor. I don't think I'll ever retire some of my air tools. I'll use them. Even if, even if they're battery power ones out there, I'll probably still use them. Just for the convenience, you know, if, if you're not tripping over an air hose, really that's my only gripe with, uh, with air power tools is the air hose. I don't have a problem with the air tool, it's the hose that connects to it. And sometimes the loud compressor, I was, when you're trying to shoot a YouTube video. <laughs> but leave it down in the comments, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We will catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.